Turning to the environment, the oceans we swim in and the oceans that produce our fish are becoming more acidic. Scientists say oceans are absorbing carbon dioxide at a faster rate than at any time in the past 50 million years. And the main cause, fossil fuels and carbon emissions. Too much acid in the oceans means small sea creatures can't survive, so fish have a lack of food and then bigger fish end up with a lack of food and the cycle continues. For more on this, let's turn to Dr. Reese Halter, distinguished conservation biologist. Dr. Reese, good to have you with us tonight. Uh, going back 50 million years, uh, that's, that's utterly amazing, but explain this food chain that is being affected by this. Okay, first of all, Ed, good evening. The, the news of the week before the acid was that fossil fuels are robbing the oceans of oxygen. We have vast areas of the Pacific Ocean within 15 years that are going to be void of oxygen, which means inhospitable. And as we know, if the oceans die, we die. The oceans, as they are warming, they take less oxygen in. The oxygen in the water is less dense, so it can't circulate. Also, we're missing 40% of the oxygen-bearing plants, the phytoplankton, because the cold water is not coming up to the surface carrying iron and nitrogen. This is where our friends, the whales, are so central. The whales and their poop, rich in iron and nitrogen, are fertilizing the phytoplankton. It's time that Japan, Iceland, Norway, and Denmark cease killing the whales. Well, now, if that isn't overwhelming, it's the acid. As the, uh, as the phytoplankton, the remaining phytoplankton, is trying to suck the oxygen oxygen out of the atmosphere, carbonic acid is leaking into the ocean. The oceans have become 30% more acidic because of fossil fuels. That means that the free swimming sea snails off the coast of the United States right now, 53% of them are melting, Ed. That's fish food. And that's a crisis. That's a planetary emergency. But it's the southern ocean, the greatest body of water, the Antarctica. You have tiny little trillions of krill. They're shrimp-like creatures, you see, and they feed everything, the squid, the fish, the seals, the emperor penguins, and the whales. Those, the, the krill are melting. We lose those, and it's endgame. My gripe is this. The G7 are meeting in Kashiko Island at, at, toward the end of this month. Failing to plan is planning to fail. What are we going to do about acidic oceans? What are we going to do about oceans running out of oxygen in less than 15 years? And what are we going to do about 51 trillion pieces of plastic right. in our oceans? All good questions that need to be answered. Dr. Reese Halter, great to have you with us tonight for that scientific explanation. Thanks so much. Thank you.